heard me say that to have a woman on board a ship is bad luck. Well, this is a story about a woman named Anna. Now, Anna was so in love with the sea that it consumed her in the end. Now, Anna knew that many a seafarer and pirates believe that to have a woman on board is bad luck, but it didn't stop her from going to sea. She got a hold of a boy's sailor suit, and she dressed herself like the boy. She cut her hair nice and short, and she commissioned herself to sail with a well-known pirate captain. Now, Anna, or Andrew, as she went by, managed to cover up her secret. And she even became the ship's cabin boy. Now, all was going well until one faithful evening. Old Anna was bringing the captain some food to his cabin. And this was during a huge storm that suddenly broke out. And it sent the ship pushing and splashing in the water. And she's struggling to keep the spray afloat. Rain, hail, winds, waves. She gets to the captain's cabin and opens the door. Aye. And she makes her way over. And just as she's about to serve the captain his food, the ship is pushed over. And she takes the tray and lunges it towards the captain. She almost spills it all over but she sacrifices herself, pulls the tray back, and spills it all over herself. Now, although the captain is spared the humiliation, I, let me tell you, the grog and the soup she was carrying suddenly force her clothes to stick to her body in a strange way. The captain says, boy, what's wrong with you? I, the ship's doctor is called in and he examines what he thinks is Andrew. And then in a panic, he looks to the captain and says, Captain, this cabin boy is a woman. And the captain scores, scores at Anna, who runs away out of his cabin. And suddenly the captain gives orders, seize the cabin boy, and the whole crew grab hold of Anna. She struggles to try to escape. And the captain gives the orders. The ship is cursed. This cabin boy is no boy, it is a woman. Throw her overboard. And they pick her up and she's struggling and they throw her overboard. And Anna drowns and dies right there. Ah. Now, years later, the story came to me. And the area where Anna was executed still becomes known as the area of Anna. And Anna was therefore known thereafter as the handsome cabin boy. It's of a pretty female, as you may understand. Her mind being bent for rambling onto a foreign land. She dressed herself in sailor's clothes, or so it would appear. And she hired with a captain to serve him for a year. Her cheeks, they were like roses, her hair done up in curls. The sailors often smiled and said, he looks just like a girl. But he did not the captain's biscuit her color would destroy. And the wasted swell of pretty now, the handsome cabin boy. Oh, doctor, dear, oh, doctor, the cabin boy would cry. My time has come, I am undone, and I shall sure.
slowly die. The doctor, he came running and he smiled at the fun. To think a sailor lad would have a daughter or a son. And cheers to you wonderful folks over here. So dear friends, drink your tofter grog, and I wish you all great joy. And here's hope you have a jolly lot more than the handsome cabin boy. And dear friends, drink your tofter grog, and I wish you all great joy. And here's hope you have a jolly lot more than the handsome cabin boy. Cheers, mates. Cheers to you all. Thank you very much for coming and allowing me to share these stories with you.